Hello there, welcome to Born Free Homestead. This is uh, my channel for making a homestead in Thailand with my wife. As uh, the coronavirus hits, we've been thinking about uh, starting a homestead. So this is the pond dig that we are digging in day one. And we got a macro, well they call it a macro, but it's like a, a digger. And um, yeah, we started to dig a pond. Now the pond is gonna be 40 meters by 10 meters wide and it's going to be about three and a half to four meters deep and hopefully we're going to keep um, some fish in there quite a lot of fish actually because it looks quite big as the you can see the tractor there going now um, we're going to have to dig the pond first and then we have to fill it up of course but we just do it one step at a time. We are, you know, just normal working people in England, and um, hopefully this project is going to be take us about three years to complete. But you have to start somewhere, right? Uh, the reason why we're doing it, as I said, is because of the coronavirus, and we can see that there could be a food shortage in the future. So if you grow your own vegetable and have your own homestead then you won't have none of those problems hopefully now uh, we've got five acres of land in Thailand okay and I know not everyone can do this but you know we have the opportunity to do it so that's why we're doing it so I'm gonna take you on the journey from stage one to you know how long it takes to do it step by step you know we save our money little by little every year or month and uh, do bit by bit as I said this is going to be like a you know prepping channel you know maybe a bit of cooking and that when we get out there but just take you through the journey of how it's going to take or how long it's going to take to make a homestead now this is going to cost about 40,000 baht which is about a thousand thousand odd pounds at the moment with the exchange rate about 40 baht per pound so yeah you know we have to sl slowly save up money to do the projects as a, and off when we get the money so this is just day one and hopefully we will bring you more Okay, keep posted and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye. Hello there, welcome to the channel. And this is uh, day two of the pond dig. As you can see, the digger is busy and there's a lot of earth that he has moved. Now, we're going to keep all this earth and compact it back around the pond so it's not going to waste or being dumped anywhere. It's uh, quite a lot of dirt as you can see, so it's uh, quite a big job actually, you know, digging the pond. is not as easy as uh, one think it is because it's qu quite a big pond. Um, now we can see that this is going to be day three now and see what progress there's made. Okay, this is a property, the outside of the property. And there you go, that's day three. The digger certainly has done a lot of work. It's nice work as well, you see, right down there. He's busy digging. Doesn't seem to have a lot more to do. I think in another day we'll be finished. Now, this is the front of the property where all the trucks are. You can see the truck there backing up to take the dirt from the digger. And 
people, you know, working on the side as well with a tractor to compact the earth. It's built quite a nice shape as well to the pond, I think. I mean, this guy does it for a living, so he knows what he's doing. Now, this is the front of the property. Where all the trucks are there, you see that's the start of the property, where the road is. So anyway, that's day three. Hope to keep you posted and expect the final Pondig video. Hi there, this is day four, the final day of the Pond Dig. As you can see, the digger is compacting the earth on the side of the pond so that it's firmer and give it more shape. He's doing a really good job, you see the size of that now? Maybe we, I overdid it, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think guys? It's quite big, isn't it? I didn't realize it looked so big. There's the lookout guy for the digger man. Must be a pretty hard job doing this, you know? I mean, you're sitting there and it's hot in the cabin. You can't see what you're doing. But I suppose these guys have like a, a magic feel for the digger. Pretty amazing, I think. Can you imagine digging that by hand? There you go, that's a different angle. As you see, on the bottom left hand corner, he's dug like a, a little, I don't know, like a little pond there. And that's for if we get rain, we can use that water to, you know, water some plants or do something like that. Because we don't know when the rains is going to come. Should be soon. The rainy season starts uh, maybe in a couple of months' time. There's another angle. All finished. Hoorah. Look at that. That's a moss woman speaking. In charge of the uh, project. You see the pond, it's got like a, a slope and then it's got a shallow bit around the side. That's for like uh, walking around, maybe doing some fishing in the future. That'd be cool, sitting around the side there. That's the front of the property. Probably the digger's gone already. But you see the soil has been compacted to the land and it's raised the pond up a bit, which is uh, really good. So it's not level with the rice fields at the back there. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe and like. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye. Hello again. As you can see, we got a truck full of fertilizer, which I believe is chicken poo. That makes a good fertilizer. It's very strong. So we're spreading all that to make the land more fertile to grow vegetables and trees and whatever we decide to grow. It's very windy on the farm today. As you see, the bag is blown away. 
and I think the pond's got some water in it because it had a bit of rain so it, we managed to collect a little bit of water and as you can see on the left hand side that was like a cow manure as well which we collected and this is the back of the land on the farm and this is where we're going to plant all the rice when it's you know a bit more raining season so at the moment the land is being like plowed by a tractor to get ready and that's our neighbor's land I suppose yes look there's some water in the pond because we dug a little pond there to catch a little bit of the water so we could use it on the land the pond is looking good very good that is all completed that's a, one of the biggest jobs done so that's a headache gone and now that's the rest of the farm there ah the rain gods have answered more rain the pond is starting to fill up there you go and the kids been catching frogs I believe in the pond there's already life there where there's water there is life you have to have water on your land to do anything really so thank you for watching the video stay safe bye bye if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and like there'll be further projects on the way and I will upload them as soon as I can thank you for watching Bye-bye.